Good morning. It's around 10 a.m. in uh, an area just outside of Dijon. And we're on the trail to Grand Cru in Burgundy. It's a Monday. And we've uh, decided to stop here and say hello. Ruth Ann, here on my left. I'm Jack. <laughs> and uh, we are maybe 20 minutes out from the first wine tasting location. Would you like to add anything here? No. Nope. Just right. a rainy day. Yeah. We're having fun in the liquid sunshine. Yeah. Leaving Dijon early in the morning, we found the route de Grand Cru and rode through villages such as Marcenay, Gevre Chamberton, Mori Saint Denis, Bosnie Romani, until we reached our destination in Nuit Saint Georges. As we rode through the vineyards, we noticed that there were workers out in the fields doing the green harvest. You may be wondering, what is green harvesting? Well, green harvesting is the process of removing extra grape bunches from a vine with the aim of balancing leaf area and fruit weight for a crop that can achieve a better ripeness. This is important because the leaves carry out photosynthesis, which produces the sugars, which allow the grapes to ripen. So if there are too many grapes and not enough leaves, the vine will struggle to ripen berries. With fewer grapes, the flavors can get more concentrated. This is particularly important in wine styles where you are seeking concentrated fruit flavors and body, such as full-bodied reds and also in late ripening years. In Burgundy, unlike other regions, no blending of grapes is performed during the winemaking process. The great wines of Burgundy therefore express all of the wealth of Burgundy's lands through the Pinot Noir grapes for the red wines and Chardonnay for the white wines. At Marchantaz, we were given a tour of the winemaking area and the cellars, and then we had a great tasting with Florian, our host. This wine is so good. If you ever see it available in your shops or if you just want a great wine, get online and you can order it directly from them.
after our tour, we headed around the corner to a great little brasserie to have lunch. And then we hopped on our bikes and continued our way on to Bonn.
Upon arriving in Bone, we checked into our accommodation and then headed out for dinner at a one Michelin star restaurant. And the food knocked our socks off. It was amazing. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we will continue along the Route du Grand Cru to see other wineries and taste more wine. See you then. Mm -hmm.